I think it's always a challenge. And it's really profound for me to remember at the core, we're all humans. So we each bring ourselves, our whole selves to work every day. And sometimes that's easy. And sometimes there are things going on that create friction. So as a leader, I'm constantly thinking about how do I help these teams be their best? How do I remove roadblocks? How do I encourage collaboration? Fortunately, at Atlassian, this is our focus as a company. We try to make collaboration and communication for teams the best that it can possibly be. We have a process, a canonical process that, you know, like I said, we can call it the double diamond or whatever, you know, process flow you use. But basically to kick off a project, there's a lot of leadership discussions about what are the right efforts that we should be doing? What are our company goals? We break that down into organizational objectives and key results, and then then we break that down into what projects will meet those needs. As we identify a project and assemble a team, if it's not already functioning, we typically start with what we call a project poster, which is one of our plays. It's a document that the team puts together that identifies what customer problem we're solving, what business need does it have? What do we need to get this done? How long will it take? Who are the people? What are our success metrics? What do we know about this? What data do we have? What data do we need? So we put that information together. And then within the team, we spar it and make sure that it makes sense. And then that gets presented to leadership and said, "Is it, what do you think about this? We get feedback. And then From there, the team operates, breaks into their functions to say, okay, now we're going to do this. How are we going to do it? And that's when we shift into more of the agile process where whether you're using Scrum or Kanban, you organize your work in a backlog and then we groom it and we assign, you know, people take tickets and start working. We have regular meetings where we talk about the project, agile ceremonies where we do retros after a sprint and also plays. So we do retros and we do team health monitors, I think is an important way to surface where their things are working well and where we need to apply some more thoughtfulness to our process. So I think that's how we learn how things are going. And then the team collaboratively identifies where are we a little bit sick, which is a funny way to think about things, but where are things not working as well as they could be? What help do they need? What do they want to try to make it better? And so with a cadence of constantly looking at how we're working and with the intent to make it better, I think that's how we engender the collaboration. 